everyone and welcome back to everybody's looking for tomatoes if you're new to the channel please like subscribe share comment down below anything you want to know anything you want me to eat and ring that post notification bell button for future videos um today i'm running late with my errands i did not want to wake up i got the baby ready for daycare i laid back down got up did some laundry um waiting for um you know waiting for a delivery and then i went back to bed overslept now i'm running late to my appointment i'm like 30 minutes late and i have an hour drive give or take yeah i'm gonna have an earful and i hope i'm not late to work because they yelled at me yesterday for being 20 minutes late Anyways, I'm having a quick Taco Bell, small Pepsi. I'm trying to cut down the soda because I'm noticing I'm gaining some weight. You know, I don't want to step on a scale. I really don't. So, I got me a little cheesy potato bowl i watch um always together this other youtuber they're twins um they do a lot of mukbang videos but i think they started off doing beauty um videos and um i thought in pa where they live um there was only cheesy potato bowls but then i realized Taco Bell has it automatically, so that's a cheesy potato bowl. I've never had it before. I think I had the potato soft taco. That was good. Mm. Yo, this is good. Mmm. see youtubers do that i'm like oh my god i'm like i want it i want it <laughs> mm. this is good mm. i don't know it's different but it reminds me of that nacho fries oh my god they're so good and i think if it's gotten better the nacho fries because they put more seasoning and it's more flavorful now when it first came out, it was like, eh. But now, the flavor of the fries, the seasoning is intense. And with the hot, hot nacho cheese sauce, oh my God, in heaven. But this is good. I always eat, I always see, always together eating this. And I like them. They always talk about real stuff like god honest truth even though i think they're in their 30s early 30s and they're single but they're living their best life no you know like it's hard it's hard to have relationships nowadays it's so hard and they talk about relationships what you should do shouldn't do about people relationships with everybody your man your girl your family you know and you, you know I'm married but I wasn't married I wasn't always married I'm, I'm seriously a newlywed I got married in 2016 of May 2016 I'll probably insert little future um, clips of my wedding or my engagement but I was single for nearly five years and it was tough like dating wise 
dating wise was tough like these guys it was hard and especially hard for a woman who makes more money than the average guy at your age like for example I was like 24 making money 25 making money and it looks good on paper you don't really take that with you but when a guy hits you up and wants to know what you do for a living blah 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 they either want you to be their sugar mama they're beggars freeloaders they give you a hard time and then and it comes to find out like they always throw in your face that you make more money than them i'm like if i was the type of female that gave you the time of day that means money is not is not a, a thing for me if i wanted a man with money i would have only spoken to men with money and I've dated men with money but one men with money not all of them but the ones that I've came across they're married and sometimes they'll tell you and sometimes they won't men with money are players they know they could get whoever they want you know not whoever but most likely nowadays women has become so desperate that their standards have lessened because I've been to a lot of dates I would never sleep with somebody on the first date but let's just say a meet and greet like I'm just meeting you you tell me we've been talking for a hot minute like for a couple months maybe a year you tell me I want to take you out let's go on a date and then all of a sudden you know that I'm a single woman I have my own apartment I have my car you want me to you want me to bring you up to my apartment nah or you want to have sex because you paid for a meal no so I'm worth those 60 to 150 dollar meal ticket because I was being generous in my food intake and my drink intake you want me to fucking spread my legs no like I don't know what it is but women if men think that I'm when I was single gonna give it up like that that means women out there, you need to have more standards for yourself. You need to respect yourself beforehand. I mean, if you want a one night stand, you're an adult, you do what you want. But if you think a guy's gonna take you serious, um, if you if you sleep with them on the first night, the first time you meet them, or let's just say, like, I don't know. I was told years ago you when you're dating you have to have the 90 day rule three months of dating and if you choose to want to sleep with them you sleep with them if you don't you don't you don't have to but sleeping with somebody does not say oh and for some guys are like that for some guys they think that sleeping with you you're, you're their world like you're the woman that they want it, they don't know you. They don't know your aspirations, your goals, your dreams, your everything, what you're looking forward to. Or if you if you even want a relationship. But dating is hard and you and I don't know. I feel like women have become equal and then is trying to be equal as guys like, "Oh, if he could sleep with any girl, I could do that too. No, your mindset has to be there. Us women are more emotional. I know I am. And most women I know are. We're emotional beings. And if we share our bodies, that means that we're going to be in a relationship. Or what's the deal? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, sex has become like a handshake. 
Like, I'll have sex with you today. Thank you. Bye. Like, it's ridiculous how guys just see women. You know, oh, online dating. And, and technology is good, but it's become bad. Because online dating, I tried it. And I met my husband online. Because my career, I don't get to go out. I don't have a lot of friends on the same days off as I do to go out and have fun. So I really didn't socialize. So I was I was part of the online dating scene. So I did online dating, but there's a lot of weirdos out there and a lot of married men that go online dating, pretend they're single, they want to meet you, have sex with you or whatever and then they ghost you. Like I've been taken out numerous times to dinner. And I say, no, I don't want to have sex with you. No, it, I'm not I'm not like that. No, be respectful. They get frustrated and they stop talking to me. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'm not sweating you. You know? Or guys, they want you to pay um, your meal. Their meal. Okay, this time is on me. And then they'll never want to treat you. They're like, oh, you, when are you going to cook for me? When are you going to take me out again? I know I want to be equal, but pay-wise, job I'm still a female. I like that romance. I like a man to wine and dine me, to treat me. And for years, it wasn't like that. It was not. Like, either I treat, they treat, whatever. I saw them as friends, and they saw me as like, we're going to have sex. No. No, mijo. I'm not having sex with you, no. Anyways. I got a uh, the new rattlesnake burrito. The rattle steak <laughs> burrito. I'm saying snake. The rattle steak burrito. It has steak. So you can see it better. You got steak. Can't even see it. Steak, jalapeno, cheese, and the, the nacho fries. Can't even see it. Can't even see it. Anyways, mmm. The steak is awesome. And the spice level. I mean, I like spicy food. I don't know if you don't like jalapenos. But it's so good. And the potatoes. This is an awesome burrito. This burrito costs $2.99. I'm like spitting all over the place. <laughs> mm. Get you some rattlesnake. Rattlesnake burrito. The steak is delicious. You know how the meats in Taco Bell aren't good like that it's like eh this steak is delicious it feels like you're in a, a little Mexican spot they do that carne asada and be stiff mm -hmm. This is awesome, and I love the jalapenos. I should have told them extra jalapenos. My good.
She never got that cheesy potato thingy. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of potatoes in here. The the fries. Look at that steak. Mmm. That's real steak. Mmm. Jalapeno. Hola. I have a bite. Now I got a bow to the rose. Mmm. Now I'm satisfied because I didn't eat no breakfast. Oh my god. Get you some rattlesnake burrito. I mean, I don't know how the bowl tastes. But maybe next time I have the bowl. Hubby, if you're watching this, don't get it because you don't like jalapenos. That's spicy. Anyways. Oh my god, that hit the spot. Anyways, till next time. Like, share, subscribe, ring that post notification bell button, and comment down below. Love you guys.